Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to be making a DIY trellis out of some leftover chicken wire and some one by twos. So, um, not the best at building things, but I have some Malabar spinach that I was gifted from um, Backyard Farms and it needs a trellis. I have like a little makeshift little plant holder holding them up and it's not really getting the job done. So I'm gonna make this trellis, hopefully, and I will put it in place and show you guys how I attempt this. All right, so we're starting with our one by twos. It's an eight foot long board that I cut in half. So I have two four foot pieces of chicken wire, a basic staple gun, and some needle nose pliers. Now the space I need to fill is about a three foot space. It's across my small one of my smaller beds and it's about three feet across. So here I have one piece on each end of this piece of chicken wire. This piece of chicken wire is about five feet long and I only need three feet of it. So here I'm measuring to make sure I have a three foot width. that's about good so now we take this a little bit of the excess I'm gonna fold over and I'll just staple it in place and same thing with the other side I'm gonna fold over whatever excess there is and get it stapled in place so at this point we have it stapled onto the one by two all the way up on both sides and this extra chicken wire here is what I'm gonna cut off of this thing and this is where you're gonna use the pliers that little piece right there is actually a wire cutter So here I am cutting up the side of the wire. This actually is a whole lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It took some real elbow grease. I got scratched a few times. <laughs> Flies and mosquitoes are in full effect.
And as I go, I'm tucking the pieces that I cut under the wire, if that makes sense. Like I'm, instead of them sticking out, I'm just tucking them under so that they're not poking and scratching me. And the wire that I'm cutting, like the excess wire, I'm actually rolling it up as I cut as well, just to keep the sharp ends covered. So here is the finished product. It's stapled on both ends, on both sides, and the excess wire is cut off. And now we head over to the garden bed that needs this trellis. So this is the red Malabar spinach. This is the little plant holder that I had kind of holding this up until I figured out what I was going to do for a more permanent trellis. Alright, and then off camera, like right after this, I went back over the, the two posts with a rubber hammer just to get them a little more secured, like to, to hit them further down into the ground. Alright, so the trellis is done. It was a success. Um, I thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you learned something. Maybe you can try this if you need a trellis on the fly. Um, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, and until next time, bye!